boom boom all right guys all right all right all right i'm super excited this is amazing like um this is actually my first time coming live on my timeline like and i just wanted to say a very big thank you thank you so so much for your um love for your prayers for your wishes i appreciate every single thing all right i appreciate um the kind of love you showed me on my birthday and please if you are watching this video right now please i want you to uh, drop a comment so that i could um, know that you are here all right so uh, if this is your first time of see my face this is um, this is chino du paul and they call me the valo king all right and um some people prefer to call me badass copywriter but i i'm not really a badass all right all i know is i use uh, the power of a pen and a paper to command sales online okay so if that's what you refer to as badass that's okay so i'm going to show you um this will be really quick like i i i have shown appreciation for all the loves all the wishes you showered on me yesterday i don't take it for granted i appreciate it a lot thank you so much you guys are amazing you guys are amazing all right so um in this video i'm going to show you three things you should do how you can actually turn a dead sales letter into um a money printing machine right i think that is um Yes, Godwin Coyote. Thank you so much for joining. I, I so much appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you very, very much. All right. So in this video, I'm going to show you just three three method three method I use to actually turn my um dead now. As a copywriter, you need to understand. As an internet marketer, you need to understand that it gets to a certain point whereby, even if you are an expert right sometimes things doesn't work right you put out something in the market and the response you are getting is not uh, favorable you are not happy with it all right so at this in a case like this you um want to actually apply this three method i'm going to show you all right so the first method is this please make sure that you are sending quality traffic to the copy because that is the first determinant you can't really know whether something is working except when you know that you actually send the quality traffic to the copy it's not when you are running facebook ad and like it's not nobody is coming to the sales page or people coming to the sales page are not qualified audience and you complain that your copy is not working nobody is buying your product before you say that your copy is not working uh itsuni online thank you so much for joining i appreciate you okay so before you complain that your copy is not working you have to make sure that you are sending a quality traffic uh, okay so you're sending a quality and that is the only way you know whether your copy is actually working or not so the first step is this you have to check your offer i'm telling you you have like i'm going to show you the exact three method i use right exact three method i use so you have to check your offer if your offer is not good i keep on hammering on this stuff if your offer is no good no amount of um wishy-washy facebook ad tactics no amount of uh, persuasion like all of those stuff your offer is like the the godfather all right uh sabiru so we will say offer is the number one determinant of whether your marketing will work or not all right so your offer is very very important you want to actually make sure that your offer is super good your offer is super good so you have to check your offer and see if there's something you can actually tweak on it or if you can actually change the offer entirely or if you can just add one or two things or maybe sometimes uh, copywriters i want to tell you something copywriters um will tell you this the words you use in your copy is not as important as how you use it i'm going to show you an example and this is one one thing i taught um one of my private coaching physical students all right i'm going to use uh, my bed as an example right now okay now 
if you as a as, as a normal salesperson you are selling a bed and i'm selling a bed like i mean a foam right a foam you are selling a foam and i'm selling a foam i could actually sell more than you not because i am giving something extra but because of how i presented my offer and i'm going to show you an example right now okay i'm looking at my bed all right so let's assume you want to buy bed and you let's assume a customer wants to buy bed and a customer comes to you all right a customer comes to you and says, okay i want to buy a bed all right maybe you are selling the bed for fifty thousand or you're selling the bed for yeah fifty thousand and you just uh, tell the customer, okay, this bed cost fifty thousand, and um, that's it. Once you buy the bed for fifty thousand, you take the bed and you go away. All right, you take the bed and you go away. And I am selling a bed too. All right, I could actually come in and say, okay, this bed, this foam. I don't know why I'm using bed. This foam costs fifty thousand, and the moment you pay. Okay, I'm, I might not say 50,000 because you said 50,000 without giving any bonus, all right? I'm going to add, I'm going to factor in the price of my bonus into my product now, all right? And you are going to see that the customer is going to prefer mine, even though I, I increased my price more than yours, all right? The customer is going to prefer mine right now. Okay, so this bed costs, this foam costs 55,000, and the moment you pay for this foam, um, I'm going to give you two free bonuses, all right? Two free bonuses. And the free bonuses um, are these. Number one, I'm going to give you um, a soft pillow, all right? You all know that um, for you to have an awesome comfort while sleeping, you need a pillow. Are you seeing the way I am actually structuring my word? I didn't say, okay, once you buy this bed, I'll give you a pillow, and that's it. I didn't say that, all right? So I want to repeat what I said again. Once you once you pay for this form, I'm going to add two free gifts for you, free of charge, no extra cost. And one of them is a pillow, all right, a very soft pillow. We all know that for you to actually have a very comfortable sleep, even though you have your foam, you need um, a very soft pillow that will help you do that, all right. And if you actually wanted to buy this pillow yourself, it will cost you um, nowhere less than 2005 so what i'm going to do is that once you buy this bed this foam right now because you're an action taker i'm gonna reward you for being an action taker i'm gonna reward you with a free pillow you don't have to pay anything you get it for absolutely free hmm the customer will be like wow okay so i'm going to get a, a pillow which actually sells for 2005 i'm going to get it for free this is amazing this is amazing let me like inside the customer's mind, you'll be like, Yeah, I, I think I need this. You might not you might think that this thing doesn't work, but let me tell you, when you are selling to a market that does not really really do online uh, advertising and marketing, that's where you know that this thing works. I'll give you an example. Um 2018 when I I was a novice online, alright. When I stumbled on a sales page by Patrick Ogiri, I tell you all of this simple simple st stuff hypnotized me and made me to borrow 10,000 naira to buy his course all right the first one was uh, scarcity the second one was um um fomo like many people are buying this product the third one was a lot of testimonials and proof all right i would be like oh my goodness like i was really really seduced with his cup even today i still i still tell him please connect me to the person that wrote that copy for you I want to see that person and at least give him a handshake because the copy actually did a lot of stuff in my head and that's when my quest for copywriting started, for copywriting skills started. So I dressed up at that pillow, I said okay, um, in addition to that pillow, I'm going to give you a very beautiful um, bed sheet, okay, let's just call it bed sheet, alright, a very beautiful bed sheet, alright, that will accommodate, that will help you actually cover your bed so it doesn't um, get um, stained so fast or something like that, uh, we all know that if you use this bed, alright, without using a bed sheet or without using something to cover it, it's definitely going to to uh, get stained so fast and you really don't want that to happen, I mean, Come on, when you are spending fifty thousand naira on bed, so you 
want to cover it, all right? I'm not, I'm not going to tell the customer, but inside his mind or her mind, he's going to be thinking this, all right? So how about I give you a very beautiful bedsheet free of charge no pay absolutely free of charge all right regularly of course if you wanted to buy the budget it will cost you maybe anywhere around two thousand two five all right but right now once you get this phone i'm going to give you um a bed sheet all right to just to reward you for being an action taker all right so you are not only getting the phone you are getting the phone you are getting a pillow which is worth two thousand five which will help you actually have uh, a very comfortable and, um, and safe sleep, all right? And you're also going to get um, a beautiful bed sheet, which will help you to cover your bed um, to avoid it getting stained, all right? Something like that. So, I want to I, I want you to type something right, right now. If you're a customer, assuming you're this customer, and the first customer offered you just a foam, no bonus, all right? The second customer offered you a foam, a pillow, and a bed sheet. I want you to tell me, are you going to go for the customer, for the seller A, or are you going to go for the seller B? I want you to type, if you if you are going to go for the seller A, please type A. If you are going to go for the seller B, just type B. Alright? So, if your offer is not compelling, this is just like an example. It's not as if, um, we can do better actually, but this is just like an example. So if your offer is not compelling, you have to check your offer. You have to check your I keep telling people, why selling a product without adding a bonus? As long as you know that that bonus will help um, you sell more. Why selling a product without adding a bonus? It doesn't make sense, all right? Add bonuses, all right? Add bonuses. Oh, Zadi John, thank you so much. Oh my God, my boss shared my video. I am super grateful, all right? I'm super grateful. So that's the first one. Check your offer. If your offer is not good, you have to actually tweak your offer. Add some ingredients to make it super, super irresistible. That is the first one. Once your offer is good, I can tell you, even if your copy is a bit quack, it's going to at least, now at least, even if it's just five sales, three sales, but at least it's going to be bringing sales. All right? It's going to be bringing sales. The second one is this. Like people buy um, due to emotion and justified by logic. You, you already know this one, all right? So, you a lot of well, most time when I see people's ad on Facebook, I normally go to the sales page, all right? And I see that, um, especially when they are selling maybe kitchen utensils, maybe um, watches, maybe like all these normal products. I normally see, okay, it's uh, Lani, thank you so much. I saw your your comments. Thank you very much. So I normally see that they would just be like, okay, get this product. Like, there's really, really no emotion attached to that copy. And I would be like, okay, this copy will sell, but then, this copy will sell, but then, how about if you have included emotion in this copy? I will give you an example. One of my friends, Harmony, in this timeline, when I wrote a sales copy for her, she was selling a kitchen utensil, like a flax, right? Normal flax. But what the unique, uh, what made this flax unique is that it keeps your food um, hot for up to seven hours. Or right? when you warm your food and keep it there, it keeps it hot for up to seven hours. So a normal marketer would have just said, get this product for, um, just get this product or normal thing like that. But do you know what I did? And this is actually what made, how many actually put in 1.5 million, I think in six days or something like that, in sales, not in pure profit, but in sales. So, but what actually made this product to sell so much? Because I attached the motion. Now, I'll tell you what I did, all right? I'll tell you what I did. Um... Instead of just saying, oh, I get this flask, blah, 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 I told an emotional story. It's very simple. I told an emotional story, all right? And this is how I structured my story. Um, <clears throat> I, I used a third-person um, story. Okay, um, let me just give you an example. Amanda had five beautiful kids, all right? Um, every day she would actually warm... After warming the food in the morning, before the kids come back to school, the food would have been cold. And they really 
don't like eating cold food so they always warm their food all right until one day um the the mother was not around and the kids actually they are very very little kids they came back from school and they wanted to warm the food <laughs> god this is where emotional emotion came to play and remember we're selling that product to parents like women all right so and those kids wanted to warm the food and they put on that gas and they really really didn't know how to um because the gas was bought new all right they were using other methods to warm but this one is the first one is the new gas that they bought okay those kids didn't know how to i'm not saying this is how exactly i structure it but i'm just telling you the psychology that behind it all right so and those kids didn't know how to use it so they used lighter to in the moment they wanted to light that gas everywhere sparked all right the cupboard in the kitchen caught fire the um a lot of materials that i mentioned there caught fire and the fire almost damaged um everything in the kitchen all right now imagine i uh, then how i how i transition to the product i say something like if only amaka if only amanda had this ultimate food um there was a name i called it if only this amaka had this ultimate food blah 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 that can keep your food hot for seven hours what this means is that even if uh amaka is not around when their kids return the food must be the food will still be hot which means they don't have to worry about warming food or owning any lights or like endangering themselves and all of those stuff. and you know i will tell you why this thing works very well we are playing on their emotion emotion of saving their kids from being burnt emotion of saving their house from being like a lot of emotion was going on there but a lot of people don't understand this so you don't you don't just want to sell your products um just logically like you have to attach an emotion there is a lot of emotion you can use all right yeah the, the one emotion that works very well is fear i will just give you just this one but i have over five types of emotion all right just fear like i used fear in that particular copy and it did a lot. even up to today her money still send me money because the kind of each time she turn on her advert, the order will start coming. Emotion, all right? Emotion. You don't just want to sell your your product logically like that. People want to buy when they are uh, appealed on emotional level. I hope you understand this. And this is the second method I use. So, if maybe uh, my sales copy is not doing well, I will tell a great story. And if that story is not doing well, I will see if I can tweak that story to appeal to them emotionally, more emotionally. All right? So. Think about what you are selling. If you are selling, just like this I mentioned, you can tell a story around that stuff. All right. If you are selling, um, let me give you an example. If you are selling a free a, a spy camera, <laughs> this is this particular one. I get I, I laugh whenever somebody tell me that spy camera is saturated. Something that I wrote a I wrote a copy for my client, and this person went ahead and put in two point five. Like I think it's in two weeks, two point five m. Because the kind of emotion I played there was um, the woman went uh, um, would always go to work and the nanny would maltreat the kind of ma I did not say my I was referring to mol molesting all right this one not just maltreating again all right so and that molesting actually led to that kid being sick which made the 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 parents to spend over 500,000 naira just to treat like a lot of emotion was going on there and this is just what story does uh, you make you bring in the fear all right fear of um losing their child fear of like a lot of things this is just like an example so you need to tell an emotional story when it comes to your copy most times story doesn't fail most times not 100% but at least 85% of the time story doesn't fail. I would, like okay when I was running my adverts for my lead I was just writing just verbatical and um, logically then when I tell the story of how um, I actually got to discover copywriting skill when I went to bank and uh, uh, the 1000 that I had was actually reduced I couldn't withdraw 1000 I, I was so hungry that day and a lot of stuff this is emotion and in in a matter of two days, I think my lead skyrocketed to one point uh, one thousand seven hundred just because of that story. 
All right, and a lot of people. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, this is what you suffer. Like if you see the comment section, they were emotionally attached. Very, very powerful stuff. You don't want to just sell your product. And the good thing is that basically there is nothing you can you can attach emotion to. There is nothing. All right. So you actually want to come in with emotion in whatever you're selling, whatever you're selling. Like I use emotion a lot. It's 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 really 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 powerful. It's really, really powerful. So the third one is this. I hope you're actually getting this. Um, if you're actually getting value, please just type value or give me that fire flame or something like that so that I'll know that I'm actually not wasting my time, okay? Um, just give me, um, just give me, give me fire flame, give me fire flame. Now let me know that you are getting amazing value, okay? Let me know you are getting amazing value. All right. So the third one is this: um, add a lot of believable proofs. Add lots of believable proof in your copy. Add lots of believable. Oh my God, uh, my boss Patrick Ogidi. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, so um, a copy with rigorous claim, without proof to back it up. Is almost useless. I will say it again. A sales copy with rigorous proof, sorry, with rigorous hype, without proof, like believable proof to back it up, is almost useless. Almost useless. And the good thing is, there are many ways you can add proof in your copy. Yeah, testimonial works a lot, but it mustn't be testimonial. All right, even though testimonial works a lot. All right, so make sure that you add lots of proof to your copy. I will give you an example. Um, if you are selling a high potential product, actually, one health organization recorded that over 7 million people have high potential almost every year, worldwide, or something like that. This is a proof you can attach to your copy that will make your copy more powerful. But a lot of people don't know. All right, this is this is a way of adding proof to your copy. All right. Research conducted by World Health Organization revealed that at least seven million people have high suffer from hypertension every single year, and this is and here is the proof of what their research um, revealed. You just add a, a screenshot of that proof, and this is a proof because someone that has hypertension reading that thing will be like, "Wow, seven million people every year." Wow. Then after that proof, you follow up with something like. This means that um, you or your loved ones, all right, so like something just relating to, okay, this means that a lot of people suffer from uh, hypertension every year, and this might be you, all right, but if you are probably not suffering from it now, you need to actually, assuming you are selling a product that helps to prevent hypertension, you need to actually find a way to prevent, like if, there's a way you play with <laughs> if you if you if you know copywriting very well. There's a way we play with people's emotion, and it's just it's just so 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 awesome. All right, and like it makes them at, at least see the reason why they need to get that product. Why they need to get that product? If if World Health Organization could say that people seven million people suffer from hypertension, it means that a lot of people are liable to get it. Like uh, even if even as you are now, all right, even as you are now, you are liable to get it because imagine seven million people worldwide. All those people they don't know that they will suffer from it, but it just came, all right. It just came, and the reason why it came is probably they do not have anything to prevent it or to do something like that. How about I give you a product that not only helps you to cure it if you have it, but also help you to prevent it if you don't have it. I don't know if you are like you are getting see the way I actually position my word. So even if you don't have hypertension and you stru you stumble on that sales copy and the product actually helps to prevent, you 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 will likely want to purchase it because I mean I have showed you that a lot of people have hypertension and I, I also let you know that even people that did not know that they will have it still have it. So it's not something that that come prepared is something that you need to actually prevent. How about I now show you a product that will help you to actually prevent it? Something like that. This is a proof on its own. 
This is a proof on its own. Not even testimonial, but this proof actually makes your copy more powerful that assuming the, the audience can afford the product, at least 2 out of 10 would want to buy it. Of course, not everybody that comes to your first copy will buy. Alright, 1% of your audience, if they buy, you are, you are good to go. Imagine 1% of uh, people that come to your sales page buy. You, you are good to go, of course. Now, imagine if you increase it to 3%, 4%, and all those stuff. So, you want to actually add a lot of proof to your copy. Now, testimonial works a lot, but now imagine in a case that you don't have testimonial. Like, maybe you have one or two, you don't have many. Sometimes, I will, not, I will never advise you to go and lie that a product worked for Amanda and it didn't work for Amanda. In that case, you switch over to some of these uh, ways I'm actually showing you. Assuming you are selling health, actually. Assuming you are selling health. If you are selling a watch, or uh, like just a random product, see, there is something that my boss taught me about, um, and I'm going to share it with you right now, about selling convenient products. Like con when you talk about convenient products, products that don't, you don't really need to dive into pain point too much because actually what somebody buying watch does not have too much pain point as compared to somebody that is uh, suffering from any problem so convenience products works like if you want to sell it very well just make sure that your video demonstrate video you are using on facebook ad demonstrates exactly how the product um like the nature like just demonstrate how to use the product show where a, a an audience is using it and is getting results then your sales copy just like just your headline a very very awesome headline though then your call to action because a lot of people that saw that video coming to your sales page is not really to read long stuff because he like it's just normal convenience product now convenience product just like blender if you're selling blender yeah you can tell the story of how you nearly use knife to cut your hand when you were buying when you were cutting onion or when you're cutting pepper or when you're cutting anything and that's actually what made you to start looking at how you can do it without using knife and that's how you discover this awesome blender can you see how I took a, a normal blender and actually attach emotion to it. This is very very powerful. You can do, you can sell anything online with emotion, and emotion sells like crazy. Like this, is something I've tested for a long time, of course. Emotion sells like crazy. So you don't want to actually ignore these three things. Check your offer, set an emotional story, add a lot of believable proof. All right, add a lot of believable proof. So, um, that's that. That's that. And I also showed you that one of the emotions you can play on very well is fear. Fear. Fear of losing their child. Fear of something bad happening to their precious kid. Fear of um, uh, a lot of stuff. Fear of getting sick. Fear of uh, getting injured. Fear of getting rejected. Now, if you're selling a pimple remover cream, like you just play with emotion. Okay, let me say, if you're selling um, a pimple remover cream, you can tell a story of how uh, uh, Jennifer or how Marianne was actually getting, uh, was actually being embarrassed whenever she go to the public. Sometimes she would even hide in her house because of um, embarrassment, because her face doesn't really look nice, all right? Their face doesn't really look nice. Whenever she move out, her peers would actually start um, throwing bad words at her, which actually makes her to look, um, to, which actually makes her to feel bad until she found this awesome product and used it. A lot of stuff happened, all right? A lot of stuff happened. Or you could tell a story of how she is not being admired whenever she goes to the... Like, just tell a story. Tell an emotional story, guys. Why are you sleeping on story? Tell an emotional story and sell your, your stuff like crazy, all right? So this that's it, guys. Number one, check your offer. Number two, tell an emotional story. Number three, 
add loss of believable proof add loss of believable proof this um bonus i of course i gave you a bonus make sure you are sending the quality traffic to the copy before you actually determine whether it's doing well or is not doing well make sure you actually send quality traffic to the copy all right um that's it guys that's the three method i used to actually revive my dead um sales copy to a winning sales copy all right and now i want to make a very special announcement all right and it's about my 5k offer a lot of people have called me on phone to actually know whether my account was hacked i kid you not all right a lot of people like most of my students have called me on phone to know whether my account was. They, they was like i have you gone crazy what's wrong what's going on like what is going on I'm talking about like your entire premium copywriting program that has over 21 step-by-step -step practical videos like something I've taken and I know that is worth over 30k are you okay and I will be like just calm down all right I'm on a mission and I really wanted to help especially during this my birthday period all right so that's why I actually slashed my copywriting program which has over 21 practical step-by-step -step video my hypnotic copy secret, which is a blueprint um, that is over 65 pages um, that show you exactly how to write your copy. All of them are newbie friendly, so even if you're a total beginner, you can still um, get your way around this program. And I like you will never see me make a kind of offer like this. You never you will never be able to get access to my entire copywriting program with five thousand. It's not possible. If you know me too well, you know I charge like I'm a premium guy. I don't really do all of this 1k, 2k, uh, and all of this stuff. Like, I don't do it, all right? I know what I bring to the table. So, this is the last chance for you to get my ultimate copywriting program plus my blueprint plus other seven massive free bonuses. In case you don't know what this bonus is all about, um, some of them are um, uh, a collection of uh, winning Wi-Fi. Because if you're a copywriter or if you're aspiring to be a copywriter, you should know that Wi-Fi is what makes one a great copywriter. All right, you can you can you can't be writing every day, every day without seeing what other people are doing. All right, you get you you need to actually study the works of winning copywriters in the world, and this is what this Wi-Fi does. All right, it's a collection. It's a collection of all the winning uh, sales copy in my system. I collected all of them and I'm giving it to you, God. I'm even ashamed to say this. And I'm giving it to you, like, for free. This one is not even for free. Something like over 3,000 winning sales copy. Like, you can actually study to become great in your copywriting career. And I'm giving it to you for free. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. All right. Another one is, uh, um, like I said, the hypnotic copy secret, um, which I sold. It was actually my tripwire offer, which I sold two nine nine seven, all right, two nine nine seven, and people were grabbed because it's it's, it's just that valuable. So two nine nine seven, free, you get it free. <laughs> Swifi, you get it free. It's just amazing. Sometimes I just I just feel ashamed to even say it because like it's just like you are stealing from me. But that's okay, that's okay because uh, it's my birthday and the kind of love you guys showered me, I just. Decided to do it, all right. I just decided to do it, okay. And <clears throat> there are more actually. A special report that has over some seven emotional provoking words that you should actually inject in your sales copy that makes people want to actually buy what you are saying. Because, like I told you, the words you use in your copy is not as important as how you use it. And I demonstrated it to you here, and you saw it, all right. If you are selling bed, and I'm selling bed, like. That is the way I twist my word that will make my customer buy from me instead of buying from you. So I'm going to I I I, combi I, I combined um seventy seven comprehensive powers. You should inject your copy that makes people want to buy from you almost immediately. Okay, and I still have a, I still have more. All right, you get um, access to exclusive copy hackers academy that has over sixty five rugged copywriters that are crushing it all right you get to ask question you get to um you get to ask me any question you want you get direct access to me like you just get direct access to me all right and you also get weekly assignment because one thing about me is this i am not the kind of person that will just um 
Except you are not ready to take your copywriting skill to the next level. Because every week I'll give you assignment, test your copy skill. Write this assignment for me and give it to me. I want to see actually how you did it. I want to see if there's anything that is missing. I want to see if there's any correction I can make that will help you improve on your copy skill. Sometimes I bring out one Wi-Fi and I say, this is your assignment. Make sure you, you hand copy it. And then you tell me the psychology behind that copy. All right? Tell me the psychology behind each line. So all of this stuff is what you just get for five thousand. <laughs> for just five thousand, all right? Okay. There are still more actually. There are still more actually. So it's is is over seven free bonuses, okay? And you just get it for five thousand. But this this special problem, this special discount, I tell you, you on Monday morning you will never see me post it on my timeline again because it will just die permanently. It will just die permanently. <laughs> One of my all of my students actually paid uh, 15,000. He said he wanted his three brothers to take to get access to the program. And I was like, hmm, you are so smart. You are stealing from me and you just want to like make everything out of me. That's by the way, you can actually do that. So if you want to take your copywriting skill to the next level, I recommend this program. All right, I recommend this program. And I mean, there is absolutely no need to give you guarantee, but then I'm still going to give you a guarantee. If you get the program and you go through it and what you discover in the program, you are not satisfied with it, you can chat me up and I will send you back your money. But I really want you to get value and I really want you to get better results. Not even about the money refund and all of those stuff. I want you to get massive results. And that's why I'm giving you everything I've ever created as a copywriter. Everything I have sold once for 30,000 naira, I'm giving you everything for 5k and it's ending on Sunday, 27th March 2021 by 11.59 p.m. So thank you so much guys and I hope you got value. I think I'll be doing life like this, like like every day I'll just, maybe sometimes in the week I'll just come and share my uh, my 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 knowledge all right if you want me to be coming online most of the time please just type yes just type yeah and if you're watching this replay if you're watching this video as a replay just type yes all right if you want me to be coming online to share at least if you learn something today you should know that I, i'll be coming with more bombs all right i'll be coming with more more value of course i'm a value king <laughs> okay so if you want me to be coming live just um type yes 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 i want to come on guys i want you to engage me here all right Alright, okay, thank you so much and um, I will see you next time, alright?